Emotions are high in Bristol, Tennessee, where surgical abortions are now banned and medical abortions are soon to be outlawed. We're not so much protesting as trying to minister to them and trying to reach out to them and help them uh, realize that there are other alternatives to what they're trying to do. On the other side, abortion rights supporters build a tunnel of bed sheets to protect the privacy of patients. Leave me alone. But they don't want to share their views. Bristol medical assistant Olivia asked that we only use her first name. She says her clinic sent two women home in tears because they were past the time allowed for abortions. You know, six weeks is about the earliest that you see fetal heartbeats on an ultrasound. But now in the state of Tennessee, we can't go if we see any kind of fetal heart or cardiac activity. So that, that for those patients, we have to send them somewhere else. But somewhere else could be somewhere close because of Bristol's unique location. So watch what happens when I walk across the street. Bristol, Tennessee becomes Bristol, Virginia. And in the center of the road is this plaque. It's the state line. So what does that mean? It means that abortions are banned on this side of the street, and on this side, they're legal. That gave one Tennessee abortion provider the idea to open a satellite office here in Bristol, Virginia. A GoFundMe page has raised more than $100,000 to finance the new clinic. But this location doesn't sit well with anti-abortion protesters or with Emmett Russell. I see that building. Whose house backs up to the front of the building. My belief is, is that... You should not kill a baby, so that's, that's just the way I feel. And I sure don't like it being next door to me. Star Ian's, a self-taught makeup artist, says she had an abortion less than a year ago and would not have the same option if she were to get pregnant in the next month. I wouldn't be able to get an abortion. I would have to have this child, I would have no choice. My choice would be taken from me, so I would, the only choice that I do have left is to kill myself, and that's what I would have done. Once Tennessee's full abortion ban goes into effect, the doctor at this clinic says he will close his office to all women's health services. He's 74 years old and says he's weary of the controversy. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Bristol, Tennessee.